Hello, and welcome to Research for Pandemic Effects on Small Business. My name is Ian McDermott, and I'm the librarian who's going to provide you with research support for this assignment. For this video, we're going to take a look at the different sources that are available to you when you do research for your school projects. The first thing I always encourage students to do before starting their research is to really think about your information needs. What kind of sources do you need? How do you need to use them? Think about the format that typically has the kind of information you need. So for example, do you need a book? Do you need a newspaper? Or do you need an image? There are a lot of different kinds of sources and you're going to need to use a combination of them for this project. Therefore, we need to think about what kind of database can we go to that contains that format of information? And ultimately, what's the most valuable information for this assignment, both from your perspective and also for the assignment's requirements? So in this video, we're going to take a look at databases that are available through the library's website. So these are subscription databases, which means that a lot of the content you find in them is not available through a Google search. They're only available through the library's website. We have a full list of the over 100 databases available on the library's website, and we also have a page that has a lot of videos and tutorials that will help you use the databases. I have three listed on this page here, and we're going to focus on one for the purposes of this video. Business Insights Global is a really amazing comprehensive database that has company information, industry reports, popular and scholarly articles. Statista is a really powerful database that includes a lot of statistics, studies, and reports on various topics from COVID-19's impact on New York City to the employment figures in New York City as a result of the pandemic. But the one we're going to look at right now is ProQuest Historical Newspapers, New York Times, 1851 to 2016. And we can access this by going to the library's homepage. From the library's homepage, we'll need to click on this box here that says Databases, Articles, and Books Online. Now you can see there are a lot of different ways to get at the databases. We provide a number of quick links right here, and this is a short list of really great databases for any topic. But since we need more specialized information, we're going to look at type of source, which organizes all of the different databases by um, newspaper, article, streaming video, different kinds of sources. And so as you see, as we scroll down, you'll see there's biography, there's dictionaries, images, and we want newspapers. And as we scroll down, we will eventually get to New York Times, 1851 to 2015. Now I'm already logged into the system but you will likely have to use your MyLaGuardia credentials to log in to access this database from home or wherever you're doing your work. One tip, I always like to use the advanced search option on these databases because it gives you more control over your search. From here, we can type in different keyword terms and we can even pick the date range we want to search. And since one of the requirements for this assignment is that you search a particular 10-year span, I'm going right here where I put in 1915 and 1925, because I'm interested in the Spanish flu epidemic from the early part of the 20th century, right around 1918. And to start with a simple search, I'm going to put the word flu in the search bar but over here you can see there are options as to where that word appears. And instead of doing just a general keyword search, I'm going to see the word flu in the title of the article. 
because this might narrow our search. So as you can see, we got 27 results. And as we scroll down, we can start, we see the titles, vaccination and the flu, flu and fresh air, flu closes Vienna schools. These are all topics that sound very familiar when we think about our current situation with COVID-19. And now as we scroll down even more, you can see there's an article here that catches my eye called Fresh Air, Enemy of the Flu. Physicians issue suggestions for guarding against the disease. And now if we click on that title, we can see a full text version, just how it looked in the New York Times in 1922 when the article was published. I'm sorry, 1919. And what's remarkable is we can see not only do we have this article, but that some of the issues that were being discussed over 100 years ago are the same ones we're talking about today with COVID-19. We can see right here on this page, doctors were recommending that people avoid crowds, stay away from any, anyone having a cold or a cough, and keeping the home well ventilated. Now, if we wanna use this article in our research, there are a lot of ways the database will let us stay organized. You can download a PDF by using the button here in the upper right corner, or you can email it to yourself. I highly recommend that you do one of the two so that you, you make sure you have a copy of the article. And then another really important way to stay organized is create a citation. This way, you can copy and paste your citation into your working document, and then you'll have it now instead of having to worry about all of your citations later. That's just a quick tutorial on how to use ProQuest Historical Newspapers, the New York Times, for this project. I'll be following up with another video shortly about how to incorporate some web resources with historic New York City information. Thank you.